presents the beat basement where you hear from your liveest producers all of them and this is where it all goes down where you hear the funky sounds from the producers that's up and coming to grammy award winning all of them and i'm your host swish and we going in everything going in Say something for me. Yo, yo. All right. Bet, bet. Bet. All right, all right. You ready to crank this thing up, man? Yes, sir. All right, let's yes, do sir. it. Let's do it. Well, on this episode, we got this hot producer, man. This dude, his style so, so, so fly. His, his style will motivate you. Get you ready to hustle, you know, put in work, do it. Whatever you got to do in the studio, he got you. Um, on this episode, I would like to welcome Ben Hot Beats. What's up, bro? What's good, my man? What's up, man? Thanks yeah, for being on the on, Thanks for being on the show. Th thanks for being on the show, man. Yeah, definitely. Most definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Um... It's a little fuzzy where you at. It's a little, I don't know what it is. A little. Hey, you say you in the basement. I'm in the basement too. Okay, know? okay. That's what it is. That's what it is then. That's what it right, is. Because right. I definitely want to, I want them to see that setup you got back there. Yeah, yes, sir. That's what's up, man. Happy New Year. That's where I put in, put in my work. You know what I'm saying? Got the keys. Woo! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I even got the, you know, I, I like to have a little entertainment on. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That gets me motivated. You know? yeah, yes, sir. Dang, they come to the lab. They already know. They got to do the math. Yeah, I don't, I don't accept no, no trash. Nah, <laughs> it don't look like it either. Nah. 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 So tell the listeners a little bit about yourself, man. Well, uh, my name's Ben Hobby. Doing music production uh, for a while now. Um, of course, almost like most people, I started off, you know, rapping, doing stuff like that. Uh, I always had an ear for the music, you know what I'm saying? Just growing up, you know, in the church and stuff like that. You know, my mom's, you know, she played, you know, piano, keyboard, organ, the whole nine. And I just always, you know, loved the music no matter what. And I mean, even from a young age, you know, just listening to harmonies, just listening to how, you know, songs were put together. Um, I just always knew I wanted to do something in music. So I just, I mean, basically that's, that's my life, man. That's, that's a one right there. And, you know, I just basically, you know, my hustle and grind was because I love this. I want to do this, you know, like I don't, it ain't even about the money for me or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? For me, it's just feeling whole at the end of the day, knowing that I put something out in the universe that maybe somebody can feel. So, I mean, that's basically, you know, where I am, where I, you know, what I do and, and, and how much I love it. And, and ultimately, you know, hopefully it comes out in music, you know, my passion that I have for it. Mm, right, right, right. What would the universe say back to you right now, man? What would the universe be telling you right now, man, while you're doing this music thing? What would it be saying back to you? Right now, it's telling me that that I'm, I'm, my time is, is, is coming real close. Uh, doing a lot of stuff, working with a lot of people, and I'm a little superstitious. I ain't gonna front, so I don't like to speak on stuff till it's done, but I will say this. 2020 is looking to be a great year. Um, a lot, lot of things that are happening that have kind of changed what's going on right now. And like I said, I'm superstitious. I keep my, look, I, I don't care, you know, any 
anybody could be on anybody's album, but until it's done, until it makes the final cut, you know what I'm saying? I, I like to, you know, hold off, you know, because I, I hate to speak and it get cut at the last minute. So <laughs> once everything is done, then I can come out and say, okay, I did that. I put my stamp on that. Right, right, right. Right. How is it adapting to this uh this this new type of uh a way of living, man, and, and new type of way of, of hustling your music off? Man, no different. I mean, anybody knows like if you do a beat, man, you away anyway. <laughs> like, I'm not the you know, I, I did the club scene a long time ago. That was more when I was, you know, rapping and doing stuff like that. When when you're a producer, like you know, everything is so digital. You know, I make beats, you know, across the globe, and it's Dropbox, it's email, it's, you know, you're sending tracks, and you don't necessarily, you don't have to be there. I mean, I can send in a session on FaceTime like we doing and give my input, and, you know, it's almost like you're being there, but you don't have to, you know, be surrounded, be around you know, a bunch of people and, and, you know, jeopardize your health, you know, so I'm, right. I'm good. Right, right, right. That's, that's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. I'm glad, I'm glad you moved into this new, this new generate, this new era, the way that you are, man. Um, yeah. and more power to you, more power to, um, all, all my producers out there, man. What's the, what's the Cleveland, what's Cleveland looking like right now? What's the scene out there? Cause I, I know you're from Cleveland, Cleveland, yeah. Ohio. Uh, let well, them folks I mean, know. I, honestly, like like the scene, um, I mean, it's popping. It's, What's the it's sound? The place, you know, has, has the people that, you know, are popping. But honestly, like, no no offense, like, I, my goal is bigger. It's is just bigger than that. You know, I, I've been around the Cleveland area. Like, I know a lot of people. I do stuff. But there's people that don't even know I'm still around. Like, they know my music is around, but they don't see me because yeah. the way I'm doing my business now, it's all behind the scenes. So, yeah, of course, every city, you know, you have people that are hot, that are up and coming, you know, that they're, they're getting deals, this and that, but I'm independent, I'm moving, I got the website, you know, I, 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 you know, move tracks, do, you know, whether it's beat leases or, you know, exclusive tracks, uh, and then also with the submissions to to the artists, and, and honestly, with all the submissions, those are my main, that's that's the main thing that I've been doing uh, recently, so, with, I should say within, like, the past, like, six months, so, I mean, it's, it's popping, I mean, you know, you still have, you know, you know, cats like MGK, you know, rapping, popping, Lupe Fiasco, you know, and, and, and I'm sorry, not Lupe, that's Chicago. Let me stop. <laughs> right, right. I was going to say, I was going to say Lupe. <laughs> you know, Kid Cudi, you know, yeah. and, you know, people still rap, you know, people still put down for the city, but, you know, it's, that's my goal. My goal is to, you know, be on that different level and, and work with those people that are, that have the mindset that's further than just local, so. Right, right, right. What's the sound like out there? Like, are they listening to more so, uh, you know, that that drill music or the or the or the uh, you know, uh, they they more on the down south uh, tempo? Because yeah, yeah, I, I, I noticed. Would say it's more just just straight like trap, like right. Style there you go. Most producers in Cleveland is totally different. Right, right, right. And um, that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I believe in individuality. You know what I'm saying? Like, my style is, is different. And actually, I pride myself on that. You what? know? But, yeah, there's, there's a lot of track. But there's also a lot of people that kind of just do music like I do. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, I might do a track that may sound similar to track, but then I also do R&B. You know? So there's a lot of people that like me, but I would just say, like, the majority of people, you know, they... they are, you know, they switch it up. I mean, in between, you know, like trap or, you know, have a sound like Pop Smoke or, you know, yeah. just different people yeah. like that. I, I, Cleveland doesn't really have, like, its own specific identity. So they just kind of, like, you know, latch on to what's hot, you know? Gotcha. So gotcha. That's where, that's where uh, C-Town is right now. Yeah. The rest of the world, you know, that's what they do anyway. You know what I'm saying? 
they see the trend, they jump on board. You know what I'm saying? Right. What what else can you do? You know what I'm saying? And you can yeah. you can still you know have your own originality to it, but you pretty much got to hop on that train and and follow it to you know to your destination. Right. Yeah, yeah. man. So, right. so, so I, I just feel like you know also you know with that like you know each of those artists that people copy are the trend setters. You know, my my perspective is I love what you do. You love it, man. I love it. You like it, I love it. You know what I'm saying? You hustle, you grind. I'm hustling, I grind. I want to be a trendsetter. Like, my, I, you know, I post stuff about, you know, your mindset, your vibe, stuff like that. I, I really live that, man. Like, my mindset, like, like I, I read, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I grind, I learn because... There's so much stuff like, you know, I got a couple, you know, young people that I work with as far as like their MCs and just hipping them on like their royalties, you know, stuff like that. Like that they don't know. I'm like, yo, you can get paid so many different ways and people don't realize that, you know, and that's what I'm about. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm about hustling. Yeah. Brand. I'm about, and I also, I don't. Hustling, I don't, motivate. Like I help people out all the time because you know what? I learned the hard way. So if I can lend a hand to somebody else, like, I'm, I'm about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, as long as you work it, I'm working too. And we can work together. That's it. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. That's what's up, bro. Yeah. How'd you, how'd you come up with the name Ben High Beats? You know what? I, it's kind of funny. I don't, I don't remember exactly how it came about, but basically, like, you know, I did beats, you know, I, I was rapping under the moniker Big Dust, you know what I'm saying? I had a little, you know, little hype out, you know, I was actually on an indie label, you know, and, you know, I did beats and cats would be like, man, that's hot, that's hot. Like, you know, they'd be like, man, you've been hot for a long time. <laughs> and I was like, you know, I was sitting there, I'm like, yo, I kind of like that. So I did it in the name form, like Ben, like Benjamin, but I'm really saying like, yo, I've been high beats, you know what I'm saying, for a long time, like, no matter what. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's a little trick or, you know, trick on play on words, but, you know, I feel like that's me. I feel like, you know, whatever vibe and energy and all that stuff, I put it into my production, so. That's dope. That's dope, man. How long have, how long have you been hot? <laughs> been hot? Oh, how long, bro? <laughs> It's a young man's game. I don't want to uh, <laughs> incriminate myself, but let's just say this. All right? um, my my first album before I started producing and I was rapping, I released in 98. Mm. So I'm an old head, but I, I try to, you know, get all the knowledge of what's going on right now. Like I still stay in the mix so that I can, you know, stay up and current, you know, and, and keep reinventing myself, you know, so that I can keep growing. You know, I don't, my thing is I don't want to be dated, you know? So that's, that's the thing. You know, I, I, I don't, I don't do the just for men. I got a little gray in my head, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's all good, but. Hey, you know, I, I know I, some I, young cats that got it. So, hey, ain't no shame, bro. No, don't. <laughs> no, no yeah. shame. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, it, it, I mean, it is a young man's game. You know, I mean, there's a lot of cats that's getting it that are, you know, in their early 20s. And, hey, I'm not, look, I don't hate you getting it, man. I'm loving it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just right behind you. I'm a little later. Yeah. But, you know, I, I, I'm in there. I'm competing with them, you know. So, yeah. that's my mindset. It's no, it's no age on it, man. Don't, don't society have you fooled to thinking it's, you know, mentally. Yeah. Nah, nah. This is not, it's not a young man's game. You know, especially with yeah. the, the stuff that I hear, you know, come out of some of their mouths, you know. Right. So, you know, I'm going to leave it at that, though. I'm not going to dig too deep into that, but, you know, yeah. right. you know what I'm saying? Good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how'd you how'd you get started? Like, how'd you, um, when'd you pick up your first equipment and how'd you, well, what was your first equipment? literally in high school um i had a keyboard and my my girlfriend at the time who 
Ruth White now, you know what I'm saying? We've been locked up for a while, you know. Um, her dad actually had a studio. So I was already doing music, but her dad had a complete studio. So when I was in high school, I would go over there and see her like, hey, what's up, boo? <laughs> I used the studio. Yeah. You know, <laughs> he was super cool. Yeah. So that's where I, you know, so I actually, you know, honed my skills and actually went to back in the day when they used to have recording school. Like, I look, I came up. Hold on. Hold on. You, you froze. You froze. Hold on. <clears throat> Been hot. Yo. Yeah, my bad. You you froze up. You froze up on me. Oh man. Yeah, you you said you said uh last thing I heard was you was going to your your wife yeah, I, went, I went to uh recording school. Um right. I was an engineer actually for a while, recording engineer. Um and uh I was just saying I came up like with you know ADATs and stuff like that, you know, so ADATs. Tell tell them what tell them what ADATs is. All right, eight dads is basically, I'm going to break it down to hood terms. All right. I remember the machine that had the VCR tapes. It had eight <laughs> tracks. You could go to a guitar center, uh, a musician's friend, order, wherever, and get those tapes. And basically, it, it records on the multi-track. It's eight, but you can also link them and have more. But that's the eight, the uh, Alessi's eight dad recorders. Then you also had, you know, with your dad. Uh, Tascam, DAT, the 88s, the 38s, all that good stuff. Or the reel to reel, two inch reel. I actually did some work uh, when, like on some of my uh, exams on some of that uh, in school. But yeah, uh, so like, I remember, you know, I was listening to, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you because I was listening to uh, uh, the interview that you had with my man uh, most recently. He said he was kicking it with MC Life back. Oh yeah, right. I actually graduated high school in 96, so that made me 42. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on for me. What's up? Just to hold get on. Better, so I just, you know, kept doing it. And at the time I was rapping over there. So, you know, I started, you know, seeing different people. And it's like, yo, I'm making beats and rapping. So, you know, I make beats and we rap on them and stuff like that. And it just kept growing and, and I did that for a while and then finally I just got to the point I was like you know what that's not my passion it got so much where the beats and, and doing all that was like my passion you know like how you see some MCs how they love the reaction of the crowd when they spit in bar like me was at these shows you had a crowd and like when my beat came on to see people screw up their face you know what I'm saying nod their head like that to me was like my high. So when I would see that, like that drove me like, all right, well, you know, next show, I know where we're going to have it. I want to kill him again. You know, so, <laughs> right. that's basically, right. you know, how it came, you know, about. And I just, I don't know. I just, I'm one of those people, man, I can hear music in anything, like mm. things, doorbells, anything. I'm like, I hear it and I'm like, yo, I, I just want to, want to create, you know, so. Yeah. What's what, so you went from the ADAPs to what you working with now, and then oh, and then I right went. Well, actually, got the, I, I stopped. I had the full studio, but I didn't like doing sessions anymore. It just it just got a pain. I was busy just doing that. I couldn't focus on my craft. So now I just have a production studio. It's all production. Now, I do have mics and all that good stuff, so if there's, you know, cats that's, you know, close, if they want to do something, okay. But as far as, like, recording, nah, I, I'm over that phase, man. Yeah, um, I don't I, blame I just, you. You know, do computer-based. I've always been a fan of MPC. Uh, I had the original MPC 2000, uh, and I went MPC 2000 XL. I got the MPC 
studio, I actually haven't even moved up to the to the larger ones because I don't need to. You know, I don't. I just feel like you, you know, your equipment don't define you. You know what I'm saying? It's how you use it. So I I stick with the you know MC studio. I got worn out buttons on it. That's just because I be grinding. Right. I, I, use, I know a lot of people battle about their dogs, but I mean I just use the MC studio uh, software and it lets you you know export whether you know it's wave or whatever or a files or you know to like uh, uh other programs you know directly so you know I, i've always been you know true to sticking with akai because i just hey, that's all i messed with for a long time so mm. that's what's up that's what's up and what dog you say you use him studio okay. I'm going hip, but it's what comes with like the MPC it's the gotcha. MPC software gotcha. Yeah. gotcha 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 um, what are you planning to, uh, to do with with your equipment with your with your with your work where, where do you plan on taking it well my, my plan right now is to push my music in all the right places right now i'm on the right path uh, uh i was actually uh featured in a uh, podcast for music x-ray uh, i do work through there so i was actually contacted by them and and put on one of the first episodes of uh hook blast where they had a beat and they featured you know a hook on the beat um a lot of my work right now uh connecting with uh different people in the industry is through uh, uh, music x-ray they actually get me into all the a and r and, and and to the different artists and people that make the decisions so that's where a lot of my moves have been coming uh coming from right now so as far as my equipment just doing it um i'm mobile um i work through my laptop but of course you know you got to have all the extra stuff to be able to you know handle um, yeah. you know all your sounds all the songs um, I actually went through something here, you know, a little bit ago, you know, like a couple of weeks ago, like I, I literally almost lost everything. Like when I say everything, I say everything. Like it was crazy, but man, I, I'm truly blessed, man. I was able uh, to recover everything. What, and, what, what like, actually happened? Um, my hard drive crashed. I actually... I uploaded some uh, BSD plugins that I had just purchased, and I had to restart. It told me to restart my computer. When I restarted it, it got stuck in a restart loop, and it wouldn't pull all the way up. And when I said I was sick, man, I was <laughs> sick. So luckily, like, I did lose a lot of a lot of BSDs, but I actually reached out to all the companies. Like, shout out to like Plugin Boutique. Uh, ADSR, you can cut that. You don't have to, but look, I emailed them, all of them, and they like gladly sent me because I'm a customer through I've been. They sent me all the products that I lost without charging me a dime. How, mu how much yeah. product would that be? Like how many VSTs and all that do you um, think you accumulate? This way, as far as VST and sounds, I have uh, a brand new external hard drive that I have, and it's, it's two terabytes. And I already have one terabyte full. Yeah. yeah. I have, when I say I have sounds and stuff, yeah. I have sounds. Dang. There's stuff I haven't even, t I don't even know what I have. Yeah. I'm addicted. Like some people are addicted <laughs> to shoes, bro. I'm, like, like, I'm addicted to sound, scents, all kinds of scents. Like, that's what I love. This is, this is my craft. This is what I do. So, I'm prepared no matter what. So as the, as the sounds evolve, I add different and, and I evolve with it. It gives me, you know, the opportunity. I mean, you heard the quote, you know, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. That's, yeah, that's right. That's how I live my life. So. That's right. Yeah. Um, if if twenty twenty one was a sound right now, what 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 sound do you hear from it right now? What sound are you getting from it? Super distorted low bass. I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, like extra distorted. I mean, I'll be real, like because it's wild. Like it don't, it don't sound good, but it fit. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, the beginning of the year, like it just seemed like.
like an extension of 2020, but it fits. I mean, everything right now is falling into place. Like, we live in a different type of life, but it's almost becoming normalcy. You know what I'm saying? So, right. I, yeah, sure. What, sure. What, what would you be doing if you wasn't, if you wasn't doing music? You know what I'm saying? Like, I love sports. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, my daughter, she plays sports. She plays basketball. Like, you know, she used to do track, but I, I was going to coach, but then I'm like, I, there's no way I have time. But, I mean, I definitely just be around sports, be around, you know, the youth, you know, kids, not little kids. You know what I'm saying? I'll say more like high school because you can cuss at them. Right. So, <laughs> right. I would definitely, you know, <laughs> I'd definitely be, you know, a coach or something like that. I just, I mean, I love being involved. I'm a people person, you know, at times. It just, you know, it, it just depends, you know. That's producers, we get weird sometimes. Sometimes we, we like people, other times, you know, we just like to be by ourselves. So, yeah. I mean, you know, it's definitely I would be like coaching or doing something like that. That's dope, man. Sure. That's dope. That's dope. Um, you definitely motivate people, man. You mo You motivate me. Um, with your posts and, and your music and everything else, man. So appreciate that, man. Definitely keep that uh, going. That. And the youth need that as as well, man. I look at it like this. You know what? We all out here in the grind and and, and, hug, and hustling. And, and it pays to have, you know, some sort of positivity. You know what I'm saying? Some sort of energy, you know, to, to give us to keep pushing on. You know, everything is so negative nowadays. Yeah. You know, if you can have that little bit of positive energy to, to push, to push you during the day, you know, it like for me, you know, I feel like at times when I'm like super tired and I'm like, now I don't feel like I'm you know, going to a beat right now or something like that. And I'm like, you know what, why, why put off for tomorrow and do for today? You know what I'm saying? So I, I say, you know what, let me go to the park. And if I don't do a beat, if I go and mix, you know, mix some beats or, or do some promo, you know, then I'm doing something that's helping me. So I'm all about the positivity, man. I try. Yeah, yeah. I heard, I heard you mention a little bit of sport. You in the sports. And uh, so, I, so I know, I know, being from Ohio, I know you. the greatest is LeBron right now, ain't he? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Me and my daughters was right up front, man. Hey, he came here, he, he handled his business, man. I ain't got no problems, you know what I'm saying? He leave whatever, man. Hey, he handled his business. I'm telling you, hey, he came here, period. That's know? what's up. So, That's what's up. So, like, man, and then on top of that, you know, college, you know, Ohio big on Ohio State. You know, of course, you know, local. You do have some Ohio State haters in Ohio. Yeah. It's all good, but, you know. Definitely, Ohio State's big here, and I'm, of course, I'm a big Browns fan. Being from here, you know, I we suffered for too damn long. You know what I'm saying? I'm still, a, I'm a glutton for punishment. You know, I, I, I keep coming back every year. Uh, <laughs> getting it together. Dude. Yeah, y'all are, y'all are, especially Ohio State. Justin Fields, man, I take my hat off to him, and um, yeah. Cleveland. I like the Browns, man. I like y'all two running backs. I, I, May, uh, Mayfield, okay, but I just don't think he got enough in him to, to, to yeah. you know. I'm, you know what? I, I, I will give him another year because this is honestly the first year he'll have the same offense <laughs> in two years. He's had to learn a new offense the previous three years, three different offenses. What y'all going to so do? Now, I want to see him in the second year in the same system that he's comfortable in. That's right. See how much he grows, you know? Yeah. What y'all gonna do with uh with uh Odell? OBJ, man, yeah. I wanna keep him, man. <laughs> Look, we, hey, we look funny though. We funny, man. Like <laughs> ugh, cats, man. You have a great game, it's cool. You have one bad game, man. Everybody wanna get rid of OBJ and Mayfield and bring on the Sean Watts. Man, for real. Like <laughs> Cleveland, man, we hey, we fun, for real. We fun. Right. Just, we, we're not used to, you know, being in a position as far as football with being, you know, consistent and being, you know, a winner. 
So we don't know how to act as fans. You know, we we have one game. I mean, but damn, there's a reason why we done had 20 plus coaches. You know, like in quarterbacks, we we got to chill a little bit. You know, let it play out. I say keep keep OBJ. You know, maybe hopefully he's seen. You know why he was off that yo. I need to be a team, more of a team player, you know, not to force the ball to me. So we'll see. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, man. So um, back to you, man. Uh, tell us a story about music that you've been through that you love, man. That you went, you ain't never gonna forget. Um, let me see. Let me see. Um, probably. You know what? Honestly. It would probably probably be the first time that my parents heard a track that I really did and wasn't trash. And my mom being a musician was like, okay. Like, I think that to me, because my mom is like, she hard to play you. You know, she like, one of those, man. You know, she all in the church court. You know, she wanted me to do you know, church stuff, but I'm like, you know, this this is where my heart is. And for her to, you know, acknowledge, like, I like that, like, I like what you're doing, son. I think that was probably one of the best things, you know, that I've experienced because, you know, you almost, you know, you gain that approval, but her being a musician and her being like, I'm like her, like, I play by ear, like, I don't read notes, you know, so it's like, I want to learn that, but for someone like her to appreciate that and to hear it when it's, you know, secular music, you know, it, it made me feel good. So that was definitely probably one of the best things for sure. Shout out. Shout out. Gave you that stamp of approval, man. That's yeah, big. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my siblings always, you know, they have my back, but, you know, when my pops, he always supported me too, but, you know, mom was tough. You know, so I was like, that, I was like, okay, you know. Yeah, right. yeah. So, definitely. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Uh, what type of what type of vibe do you do you um what kind what type of sound do you have? Um, I'll put it this way. Yeah, I'm listening to you know hip hop, lot of you know current stuff. But I love, like, soul, like, neo-soul, like, music, Jill Scott, stuff like, like, I love Ty Dolla Sign. Like, I, you know, anything like that, like, that's, that's my vibe. And I've kind of always done music kind of like that. I've always tried to have, like, some sort of melodies. Of course, you know, you do the hip-hop, you do this and that, but... My number one is probably like the R and B, like the neo soul, and it's just I don't know, man. It's just it's that feeling that you get when you can put you know your emotions into the music, where it's like other people feel what you were thinking without you even having to say it. You know that that's that's what I go for. You know, and I, I don't know. I mean, I I mean, my I feel like you know my drums, you know. They can be fresh, but the thing is, I, I would say I don't have any, you know, I know everyone says, oh, I, my style's not like anyone. I mean, it is, but, like, I don't just stick. I do have a unique sound that most people, if they know my beats, can point it out. Probably, like, with my bass lines or, you know, different things like that, my drums. Um, but as far as, like, the chords and, and the melodies, like, I... I try to, you know, do different sounds, unless it's R and B. You, you know, you can tell. You know, you can tell when, you know, London on the track produced, you know, Summer Walker's album because he has a specific sound. You know, so I do have a specific sound. It's hard to explain because I'm the one <laughs> doing. It. All I know is, is me. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Other people say, "Oh yeah, I know. You know, your sound is smooth. You know, it right. sounds real smooth, like." I, I take that as a compliment, you know, because to me that tells me, okay, I make, I did a good job mixing, you know, I'm like I, you know, I, I don't know, I, I, to be honest, I can't explain it. It's just me. Right, right, right. 
Um, what what's happened to Jill Scott? What happened to that whole neo soul vibe, man? Where are all all our artists going, man? Where's all our R and B? Where's all our, you know, our soul yeah. music? I mean, because we even had, you know, with D'Angelo. With yeah. The with the, I mean, we need that. Hey, the I young, know. this generation coming up needs that, man. Yeah. I mean, you know what? Honestly, though, it's it's still popular. It's a few. It's a few. Yeah, right. Like music, he he never got enough props. You're right. Music never got enough props. Right. And I mean, I think music is a lack of musical genius. And you know, for for someone like him who has vocal skills and writing skills, like man, he he just he definitely you know deserves his too. You know what I'm saying? He definitely deserves his flowers while he's here because he's probably a reason why I started to lean more into that direction. Because when he came out with like Love and Just Friends, I was just like, oh, like what's this? Right. Like, I, it just it moved me, you know? Right. 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 Uh -huh. <clears throat> That's what's up, man. Um uh, Yeah. What motivates you? What what who motivates you? What keeps you going? <laughs> like, no, honestly, you know what? I, what honestly motivates me is just my love for for music. Like, I don't, I want to put in all the hard work now so that when I get to a point in life, like I'm good. Like, I have no regrets. You know, like this is this is what I, I'm working for. You know, there's people that work hard. They go to you know work as a waitress or whatever to become an actor, but they do, you know, go to casting calls, they do all this stuff to try to further their craft. Like, this is what I'm doing on the production side. Like, I'm doing this to get to a point. Like, I, I have a goal. So, along the way, it's, you know, it's cool. I'm doing different things, you know, producing for local artists, producing for artists that, you know, get my leases or buy beats. You know, that's all cool and all, but I want to be on that level. So my motivation is like, I want to be great, you know? So I want to be able to, you know, rub shoulders with people who are, you know, winning Grammys, you know, doing different things like that, because I feel like I need to be there. <laughs> like it's a right. drive with me. Like it tells me like, I feel in my gut, like, it's like, yo, hot, you close. Right. You know, you doing this, you ain't here like, there's opportunities that keep happening. Like, I keep being amazed by different opportunities, but I'm like, wait, I practiced for this. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what's supposed to happen, you know? And so, it all, honestly, my whole view, everything changed once my mindset changed. Once I said, hey, I don't care who likes my production, I'm confident in it. I'm confident in my ability, and I love what I do. I believe in me. Once I did that, and once I said, hey, I'm not going to sit on my ass. I'm, I'm going to be out here. I'm going to hustle because you know what? Closed mouths don't get fed. So I need to be out here grinding. I got to live how I promote. And, I mean, that's what I do. So when, once I put all that, all of that together and I change my mindset, and I think that, like, I don't just say it like, I react like that. I do that. Like, I'm, like, ready to go. Like, man, I'm alpha. Like, I'm Aries. I'm real blunt. <laughs> I'm up front. You know, I'm, I'm aggressive. I'm all of that. You know, I'm, I'm a big dude. I'm 6'1", 240. You know, I'm very, but I have a plan. Like, all this craziness, all, you know, me doing all these beats, you know, talking to different people, promoting, you know, it's all for a purpose. And all of this is basically, you know, for a common goal. And there's a reason behind everything that I do. So it'll all make sense when it comes to where I want to be. To not just myself, because I have it up here, but to everyone else. And as long as it feels good to me, then I'm content. And 
that's my that's my mindset and that's my plan. Like I I just feel like you can't worry about what anybody else thinks. If, if everyone loves everyone's music, I mean, there's people that don't like Jay Z. Now me, I love Hov. I, I've seen, right. I've seen him in concert like seven times, but there's people that think he trash. <clears throat> so now to me, I'm like, man, how do you think he trash? But you got to understand, everyone has a different taste. So I can't hang my hat on if somebody say they don't like my production. Hey, it is what it is. Yeah. So I think once people get that and don't take offense, but just keep grinding and working hard. I mean, I, I'll put it like this. How many times have you heard an artist that's on the radio consistently? You be like, they are trash. How do they <laughs> Number one, they yeah. believe in themselves and they got that hustle. Their right. business is on point. So, I mean, I can't knock their hustle just because I don't like the music. So, I take that same approach. What's up? That's what's up, man. Who would who would you like to work with? Who would you, I heard you mention Ho. Who who else is you know, who else would you like to work with? I would like to, as far as on on the hip hop side, man, any anybody. Any I mean, any place that I can get in because I look at it as a stepping stone, no matter what. I don't I don't care if it's you know, any artist. Like I treat every artist that I work with like they ho because you never know. Any of these artists, whether it's them or me, could be the next person to blow. And if you brush somebody off while you on the same path, that can come back to bite you in the ass. You know, I I don't never burn bridges. You know what I'm saying? I stay cool with everybody. Yeah. So that's how, you know, I approach it. R and B, kid, anybody, but if there's specifics, I mean definitely music, tie dollar sign. Trey songs, um, man, uh, females like Gwen Bunn. Um, I mean, I, there's so many. I can't even like. I'm, I'm honestly like any and everybody because my plan is not just. I want to say specific people. It's for me to spread my music out in the universe. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I just want to have my vibes, my positive vibes and energy out in the universe and that's what will make me the most happy and most feel most accomplished just to be out there so that's what's up man that's what's up yeah. um give us one one last you know motivational you know thing or something you would like to tell the listeners um don't ever quit when you feel like you're about to quit i think that's when you're about to make it you know, you always have, you know, some sort of, you know, anything to knock you down. Like I could have, you know, went down with my, you know, hard drive crashed a couple of weeks ago, but I kept hustling. Um, I kept moving. I looked at it as a blessing because I said, you know what? I was getting too comfortable. You know, I wasn't, you know, making sure that my stuff was properly saved and, and this and that, and you get a little sloppy. So I would just say, Every time you feel like you're going to give up, just know you're that close from making it. And if you do, it's only going to set yourself back even more. So just keep grinding. Okay. All right. All right. Well, um, it's the cook-up. Time for the cook-up, man. We, yes, you man. know we got, we got Black History Month uh, about to kick in. Uh, give us some of that New Year's, you know, Black History, new president type, type, you know, cook-up. Something you want right. to give to us. All right, I'm about to turn, so All right. look over my shoulder. All right, give me, give me one second. But you All can right. go ahead and set up everything. Go ahead. All Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready.
Ok, ok Just give us, you know. <laughs> yeah, we just need that fast food cook up. Whenever I'm in Cleveland, man, I got to stop through. What's that? Say, whenever I'm in Cleveland, I got to stop through, man. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. For sure. Please do. Pat, Pat.
<laughs> okay. Yeah, that's something different right there.
And then when you done, bounce it down and send it to me. That okay. way I that way I'll put it at the end of the finish, you know what I'm saying? The finish cook up. Oh, they get the up. they get okay. the good sound to it. Okay. I mean I'm probably gonna put like some keys and stuff. I know, you know what I'm saying? Hey. I'm sit here through. <laughs> that's all yeah. good. But, you know. Yeah. That's all good. Yeah, that's what I want. You know what I'm saying? So they can get that okay. crisp that crisp sound. I know they're not gonna yeah. get it over the phone, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. I, I mean, I can definitely, I'll send that to you either tonight or tomorrow. Okay, then. Hey. That's what's up. I appreciate it being hot, man. Thank man, you for I'm blessing these you. folks. Thanks, man. I'm for real. Yeah, man. No problem, bro. Appreciate it. Tell them where they can reach you at. Where they can get some of that, he that heat. Hey, you can get, get some beats. I update daily at www.benhotbeats.com. That's Beats with a Z. And then also you can hit me up on Instagram at Ben High Beats. All right, bro. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate your time, man. Ho hopefully we so, can do this again in the future too, man. Hey, that sounds good, man. All right, Looking man. Looking forward to being on the show again. Oh, yeah, man. Keep doing your craft, and hey, you'll be on here again. Yes, sir. All right, Ben High. Right. Thank you, man. Peace. Peace.